Hello! In this video, I will tell you a bunch of useless information about Resident Evil 4 Remake in 10 minutes. Ready? Let's go! 18 years, 2 months, 2 weeks and 5 days have passed since the release of the original RE4 in 2005 to the release of the RE4 Remake in 2023. The Killer 7 handgun is a reference to the movie Terminator. That's a good gun. You just touch the trigger, the beam comes on and you put the red dot where you want the bullet to go. During the jet ski escape sequence, you can do a backflip with it if you press the following button. For every backflip, you get 1000 coins. Ramon Salazar, one of the main villains, is fatally allergic to eggs. That should do it. If you throw a golden egg at him during the boss fight, you can take around 70% of his HP, which makes the fight significantly easier. As you enter the main village square at the start of the game, you'll see the villagers doing their daily chores, but one villager had different plans in mind. At one point while fighting the evil knights in the castle, Leon says this line. All right. Time to get medieval on your asses. Which is most likely a reference to Pulp Fiction. You hear me talking, hillbilly boy? I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. Characters react in different ways when hit with eggs. Oi! <clears throat> You're serious right now? <clears throat> hey, is this some kind of joke? <clears throat> really? <clears throat> you. What? If you save the dog in front of Cheese Manor earlier in the game, he'll make a surprise appearance to help you during the El Gigante boss fight. Hey, it's that dog. After the fight, you can find the dog sitting on a nearby stone and approach him to thank him for his help. Thanks, bud. Oh, by the way, El Gigante means the giant in Spanish. If you wear the stylish pinstripe Leon costume, he can do special reload animations with the Chicago Sweeper and the hand cannon Magnum. The knife mechanic has been improved, allowing us to parry attacks from various weapons including axes, pitchforks, mount of cocktails, even chainsaws. However, despite the newfound skills, Leon still can parry cows. Did you know that Ashley can help you kill a regenerator? During the sewer section, lure the regenerator on the bridge and let Ashley do the rest. She will send the enemy to its doom. How do you like this? Luis makes a reference to the Spanish novel Don Quixote when he says Then come Sancho Panta, let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea! You gotta hurt yourself. The novel follows Don Quixote and his squire Sancho Panta on their adventures. Give us a push, Sancho! Who are you calling Sancho? At one point in the novel, Don Quixote fights windmills because he thinks they are giants. Like Don Quixote, Luis also meets his end in the story. I'm not looking good, eh, my friend? You're a fine knight, Don Quixote. If you catch Ashley from a high spot, she might compliment Leon by saying skills. Skills? But if you choose not to catch her, she'll jump down on her own and fall onto her knees. However, if you catch Ashley while she's wearing the knight costume, Leon grabs his back in pain. Nice catch. Also, Ashley is immune to attacks while wearing the knight armor. Did you know that the Striker Charm is a nod to a famous speedrunning strategy called the Ditman Glitch from the original RE4? The glitch made Leon move 50% faster, so it's pretty cool of the developers to acknowledge the speedrunning community with a fun 8% speed boost. A funny thing happens if you shoot the water at this location. Hey, you! Finally awake. The giant monster that just ate Leon is a mutated salamander. Its name, the lago, means the lake in Spanish. 
If you manage to find your way to Salazar's throne room, you can take a moment to sit down and relax on his throne. I'm sure everybody is familiar with Leon's iconic bingo line. Where's everyone going? Bingo? But did you notice a small reference to it in the final scene? After completing the game, when the player's rank is visible on Hunnigan's computer, a sticky note can be seen on her monitor that reads, Bingo, Friday at 10 pm. This implies that Hunnigan and perhaps other federal agents play bingo every Friday. Resident Evil 4 has several references to the movie Leon the Professional. For example, the main character's name is Leon, which is also the name of the protagonist in the movie. The game's highest difficulty is called Professional, which is a nod to the film's title, and main character character's profession, which is a professional assassin. Additionally, the gun named Matilda is a reference to another main character in the movie named Matilda. Finally, Leon can wear similar sunglasses that Jean Reno wears in the movie. The developers put a lot of care into the jiggle physics. Leon's animations are very detailed in the remake. When he enters a house while it's raining, he will shake the water off himself. He also grunts when going outside while it's raining. He can now place his hand on walls and he gets tired after running for some time. He's just like me for real. Anyhow, the sunglasses that can be worn by Leon and Ashley are not just an accessory. They can actually work. When throwing a flashbang without the sunglasses, Leon and Ashley get blinded a bit themselves. However, with the sunglasses on, they can see through the bright light just fine. The combat knife that Leon uses in the remake is the knife that Marvin gave us in the police station. No. You'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. A clever way to tie the games together. The primal knife, the knife that Leon has in the original, can be unlocked after destroying all Clockwork Castellans collectibles. Oh, and the Castellans themselves are a nod to Ramon Salazar's original design. Leon can be seen using the CAR gun handling technique, which is also famously used by John Wick in the John Wick movies. <laughs> If you shoot a speaker in the castle while Ramon is talking to you, he will laugh. A reference to Leon shooting the speaker in the original. Hmm. Where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. Leon's gun has the word Kendo engraved on its side, a reference to Robert Kendo, a gun shop owner we meet in RE2. Ashley and Louise can cheer Leon on in the shooting gallery. The Verdugo can taunt us during the fight. When you first enter the scary lab on the island, you can find the regenerator sleeping soundly on the table. However, after you turn on the power, you can see that his eyes are now wide open. Boo. <laughs> Leon's line... I think we both know this. Where we go our separate ways. Is a reference to the separate ways mode from the original. A mode where we play as Ada and see her side of the story. The woman from the opening intro can be found in a secret location at the far corner of the village.
If you shine a flashlight on Ashley, she will cover her face to avoid being blinded. Make sure to hit the subscribe as hard as this guy hits Louise with a shovel.